Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that this video is late. It's because of him. It's his fault. We have tried to record this <laughs> twice before and I don't even know what to say about I don't even know what to say about you. I don't know. But let's get this started because I don't know how long it will be. First question is from Lauren. This girl Lauren, she's Snapchat of me. And it's a basic question about breastfeeding. She said, in your next video, will you talk about breastfeeding? I plan on breastfeeding and it'd be nice to hear other moms' experiences. Like if it's strictly skin to skin or if you pump, the pros and cons of it, any tips you have to promote latching and increasing your supply. Well, first of all, it's great that you're breastfeeding because I don't know a lot of teen moms that do that and like stay committed to it. And there's Liam <laughs> That's what that noise is. <laughs> um, but I think that's great that you're doing that. It's a really great bonding experience for Liam and I. And um, whenever the baby first comes out, they'll ask you if you want to do, if you want them to put the baby directly on you. And it's called kangaroo care and I love it. I think every mom should do that. You could also do it with the dad, but Cameron didn't do that. And when you do that, you do that for like an hour and the baby is supposed to naturally, huh? I'm trying to put that on me. <laughs> and the baby will naturally find your nipple and you'll just start breastfeeding. And it was just so awesome for it to see. I do pump, but not that much because Liam will not let me get very far. She never pumps. Yes, I do now for his cereal, but anyway, if you, there's like a certain, t like once you get your breastfeeding established and like the latch really good, that's when you want to start pumping and trying to give him a bottle. And what happened was we stopped giving him bottles for a while and then he doesn't want to take one anymore. Hey, boo. And as far as latching, hey, um, some hospitals give you sugar water. You can put that on your nipple and then other times you should be able to express a little out first. That should make them like, they'll smell it and they'll want to attach to you or you tickle their nose. I had to do that a couple times with Liam. You tickle their nose and the top of their lip and it should help. But Liam had bad reflux. I don't even want to get into that for the first month. And I don't even know. And just increasing your supply, the last thing is um, you're going to find what the baby will like and dislike. And for me, that was onions for the longest time. And I finally reintroduced that. And then milk, surprisingly. And I'm going to reintroduce that again soon. And so, like, so far, it's been good. It's just my caffeine intake. You're supposed to only take two eight-ounce servings a day or whatever. And, and garlic, right? Yeah, and he didn't like garlic. And I... Like, I finally introduced that like a while ago because it's just impossible to, to do that. And there's this <laughs> drink called Marty's drink. They gave it to me at the hospital. Cameron, Cameron loved it. I think any, I made people try it and I was like, this is so good just to drink. And it's a mix of four juices, which is grape juice, orange juice, pineapple juice, and cranberry juice, and Sprite. And I don't know what it's supposed to even do, but it was just really good. And I drink that every day for two months. I don't drink it anymore, but... I don't know. She said it helps with your breastfeeding supply. I don't know. I just asked for it a lot in the hospital and it was just wonderful. Really good. What is the biggest struggle with being a teen mom? By the way, I love your channel. Thank you very much. That's very sweet. And I think the biggest struggle is, um, and I've talked about this before, I think. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I yell at him all the time. I'm like, I never get to go, like, go out with my friends and do what I want. And I just think that's the worst part. I don't know. There's, uh, a lot of struggles but there's a lot of like happy times and I think there's more of the happy times and the struggles. Courtney mm -hmm. asked how is life adjusting to being a teen mom to Liam? It is it hasn't been that much of an adjustment I don't think. Has it? And in the house all the time and that's like the hardest thing is being home all day I think. I don't know. It just sucks not being like in the house, but it's. I think the adjustment is going really well, and having him around makes everyone happier. I think. Morgan said, "Do you miss me?" Yes, I miss you. <laughs> Elia asked, "What are you majoring in?" I am majoring in radiography at a technical college here in Kentucky, 
and it's a two-year degree and I don't know like how many how much percent I'm done because I don't I don't understand my little progress she my progress I don't know I just don't know but it's a two-year degree but this past semester I had one online class and then this semester fall I am doing like I'm full-time again so I'm just really nervous for that I don't know how it'll go but I hope it goes okay <laughs> and I said, how do you put up with Cameron all the time? I don't know. <laughs> how do I deal with you? Uh, Liam, how do I deal with your dad? <laughs> He's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ashley asked, how do you handle work, school, Liam, and see Cameron? <laughs> well, work, I work at home. Today I worked 10 to 2. It's basically just like in the morning to about mid-afternoon usually. I'm, my schedule kind of changes really every day, but this is the most I've worked in a while was today and with school like I said when Liam was first born I just had one online class that started a, almost a month after he was born. It was kind of a load for me like I, I felt really overwhelmed. It wasn't that much so that's why I'm just kind of scared for my fall classes this semester so I just I don't know how that will go but I think I can handle everything and it'll be pretty easy and I will definitely cut back my hours with work because that's just not gonna work. <laughs> Liam, I just handle Liam. I mean, I have help from my sister and my mom while I work and a lot of the time Cameron's mom comes over and she's very helpful and she watches Liam for me and all I do is feed him and now where he's on the cereal it's easier for other people to do it so I don't have to worry about it. And then Cameron lives with me so sadly I have to see his face every day. <laughs> And yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> Megan asked, Do you ever plan on having more kids? Yes, this ties into the question that another girl, Alex, asked, Will you get married and have more kids? I just kind of want to deal with these questions at one time. And we, we still live in my parents' house, so over the next year or two, I'm hoping to finish school. And Cameron finished, he's in school with, he's doing trade school with plumbing right now. And then when that's over, we will, we're saving money right now and we'll work on getting out of here and then we married is the next thing and then have another kid and we want to have a girl next I would really like that and then <laughs> if we have another boy we'll try one more time and then that's it how did you pick Liam's name well one day Cameron and I went to a coffee shop downtown and we just wrote out a list of names that we looked up and we liked and we knew we wanted his middle name to be James because that was Cameron's middle name and then Davis of course his last name we just made up Liam James Davis and I'll put in a picture here of the list process we went through where we crossed off names I still have that I really like the name Liam for the longest time so why are you the most beautiful family in the whole world well thank you Alex because of this guy yeah, it's all him, but we miss you already. <laughs> we miss you. We miss you. Emily Johnson asked, why are you so perfect? Well, thank you, but I'm not. Reagan <laughs> said, when's the wedding? <laughs> I have the worst freaking cold. I don't know what this is. Lauren asked, were your parents happy when they found out you are having Liam? My mom actually said that she knew. Like, it was really weird. If you watch my 18 and pregnant story, I talk about that with my mom. She basically said that she knew and then she told my dad for me because if that tells you anything because I couldn't and then we got with Cameron's mom one day out to lunch and she kind of suspected it it was really funny she was like is Lauren pregnant like texting us we were like no and <laughs> so then we got to lunch and just showed her the sonogram and she was just like in shock I don't know she was just nervous and excited for a grandchild because she'd wanted one for forever. But I don't know how his dad felt. I don't know. But they were both, everyone was excited eventually. So, Okay, and the last question is from Ashlyn on my video. What does your daily routine look like? Well, I'm planning on making a video for that very soon and then making another video in the fall for when I'm going back to school. But basically, we, uh, Liam wakes up between, now it's like between 6 and 8, I never really know. I, I feed him first thing, we go downstairs, change his diaper, and then he'll play, be up for about 2 hours, and goes back down for a nap. And then he wakes up, we try for a 2 hour nap at least. When he wakes up from that, he eats yeah. cereal, he plays again, and it's basically the same thing over and over, all day long. But it's really not as boring <laughs> as it sounds. Every day is different, of course. But... 
say we we love it we love being your mommy and daddy huh i i wouldn't want it any other way and we're very okay. thankful for liam thank you all for asking us questions we couldn't have made this without you all we really hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you next time say bye see you bye